Organization accounts are shared accounts that allow groups to collaborate on projects. So instead of sharing the credentials to one personal account and having to switch between accounts all the time, your team can house all of its projects in one place and access them without additional logins. This allows you to centralize your project's billing and easily manage the members' permissions. In fact, no one can log into the organization. You can only manage it from its owner or member accounts. There are two ways to set up an organization. You can create a brand new one, or you can convert your personal account. Which one should you choose? It depends on your situation. If you haven't set up any project or integrations yet, you only have a few, or if they're still new, we recommend creating a brand new organization. This will preserve your personal account and you can transfer what's needed to the new organization. On the other hand, if you have already set up multiple actors and integrated them with external systems, we recommend converting your personal account into an organization. When you convert your account, the organization will keep all the integrations connected with it, so they will all keep working like before. So to summarize, if you don't have any important integrations, create a new organization. If you have a lot of shared projects and integrations already running on your personal account, then convert your personal account. To create a brand new organization, navigate to the Organizations tab in the account page of the Appify app and click the Create button. Next, just fill in the required information and you're good to go. If you want to have a separate email address for receiving notifications, or maybe it's one that you want to share with the other members, then enter it here. Otherwise, leave that field empty and the owner's email will be used for the notifications. You can own up to five organizations and be a member of as many as you need. And once the organization is created, you can switch between your main account and your organizations using the account button in the top left corner. To convert your account, first make sure it has a username. You can do that under your profile tab. You will also need to leave all the organizations you're currently in, since one organization can't be a member of others. Once you're ready, head over to the Organizations tab and click the Convert button. You will get a prompt asking you to enter a name for the organization. When you click Convert, a new personal account will be created for you automatically. The organization will own all of your actors and integrations. Your new account will be empty and it will have the same login credentials as before. You will also be logged out automatically. So all you'll need to do is log back in with the same credentials as you're currently logged in with. This applies to both passwords and OAuth. Welcome to your new personal account. You can now switch into the organization and see all your resources preserved. You can start to add your organization's members and manage your resources. You can control who is in your organization and what role they have under the Members tab. To set the organization's permissions, switch over to the Roles tab. Every new organization comes with predefined roles like Read Only and Administrator. You can customize these or create new ones with tailor-made permissions. Do bear in mind that some permissions have dependencies. For example, if someone will have the permission to run actors, they will most likely also need permission to write to storages so they could store the data from their actor runs. In addition, if you give someone access to one type of resource, they will be able to access all the resources of that type. So if you let someone write to datasets, they will be able to write to all of them. If you want to grant someone access to just one particular resource, it will be better to use our access rights system as a member of an organization, you are assigned your own API token to use in your integrations. You can set up separate tokens for different integrations. These tokens reflect your permission level. So if you only have read permissions for storages in app, it will be the same in your integrations. Below are the organization-wide tokens, which you can only see if you have the manage access tokens permission. These tokens are for organization level integrations. The organization account is available on our team, business, and custom plans. The team plan is restricted to three seats, while the business plan comes with five, which you can increase later. If you're on the business plan and want to add some more seats to the five it comes with, 
Head over to your billing page and click on subscriptions. Click on upgrade and in add-ons section, add as many additional seats as you need. Then just complete the upgrade process and you're done. And finally, the fun part, the billing. Actor and task runs are billed against the account that it started from. So always make sure you're in the right account when you start an actor run, so it gets billed correctly. And that's it. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoy using the organization account.